All right, hello people and welcome. I'm back for another episode of Be the Zombie. So for better or worse, uh, at least for practice value, I'm going to be really trying to uh, focus on the ground pound skill. Specifically, um, as much as I can, the aerial ground pound. Um, as I've already mentioned in a couple episodes, there were a few episodes ago where uh, some, some of the opponents that I was playing against were kind of upset that all I was doing was spitting. Now, I believe, I believe that spitting is the best skill for me to be using. Um, I don't know why, I just have much more luck with it than any of the others, but I mean, maybe they, I don't think they really had a good point, because, you know, everyone's going to have their own play style, everyone's going to have their own things that they like. They seem to really prefer um, stuff like tackle and ground pound. I just never had any luck with the tackle or the ground pound. Um, tackle specifically because um, they can dodge it. They can seem to dodge it pretty easily. So I saved that skill for very last, but one of the kids did mention something, and I suppose this is something kind of good that came out of it, even though I, I thought they were really being bad sports about it, but one of the kids, people, opponents there said, learn to, uh, what he called, insta-tackle. And I had no idea what that was, but I, as I thought about it and thought about it, thought about it, I thought maybe one of the reasons why they're able to dodge it so easily is because... Uh, when you do the tackle, a little icon lights up, or prompt as they call it. Or wait for the prompt when sprinting towards your target and then use the tackle. Well, it, the prompt actually comes up a little bit right bef a little bit before the enemy. And I basically would hit that tackle button, the B button, as soon as uh, the icon comes up. But maybe that's why they were able to dodge it so easily. Because maybe that gives them a second or two to do whatever. I don't know what they got to do to dodge it. I don't know if it's A button or just jump. I, I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> but I thought maybe what, what he meant by insta tackle was maybe wait till the very split last second of right when you're right next to the opponent. Instead of hitting that tackle button, the B button, as soon as the icon comes up, just wait a half second or so. And then maybe that will reduce the chances of them being able to tackle it. But thing is, uh, I went to go practice it, but I had forgot that I didn't even have the tackle uh, skill. I'd saved that for very last. So I decided uh, I wanted to start focusing on ground pound because ground pound can be useful in some situations. I don't think it's something that I would want to use all the time. But like if my spits are um, all used up and I don't have any spits left, um, ground pound probably could be at least a little useful if someone is attacking a nest and I want to stop them from tacking on it. I'd have to do something like that. And so I am trying to get used to doing that and this one. Just, that's something also that's kind of been, it's been tricky for me to learn how to do that. At least do it effectively. And I, I think I tried it a few times in the last couple of episodes. Just seeing if I could get the hang of it. how effective it's going to be, but it's something I think I could at least start doing um, when I'm out of spits. A lot of times if I'm out of spits, and let's just say that they are right there, um, and I'm out of spits, I can't do anything, more or less, because I don't have any spits left, but I, I could use the ground pound as if I could just figure out something, how to use that 
little more effectively. Um, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on mainly in the next match that I have. Uh, and so I may not get the win, but I think, I think it's going to be beneficial for me to at least... You know, if they're right there, and they've got, especially if they've got flares all over the place, or their UV lights, at least maybe I could at least do something with that ground pound. Tricky part is getting the timing right because when you're when you're doing it, you gotta release the button while in the air. And that's something I think I failed to do at least a few times with my last I don't know if it was the last game or the game before, but so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna focus mainly on the ground pound. Uh at least a lot more than normal. I don't know if that's the it's definitely not gonna be the only thing I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try and get that ground pound in. Try and take out a few flares or something. I'm not doing it for the sake of the other players. You know, if they, you know, if they don't like the fact that I like to spit, 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 spit. Ah, well, that's you know, that's not really, it's not really my fault. Let's make sure I get this all set. Up. I think I do. Someone left the game. <clears throat> Who left the game? An aerial drop somewhere. Still, another thing I really want to know or learn is sometimes like that, the game isn't a victory for me. Instead, the game is aborted. That's something I, I really want to learn. Why is it that sometimes the game is aborted versus um, sometimes the game is a victory for me if everybody leaves? I'm hoping... I don't know. I, I, I can't see what the difference is. There's been some times when I've had, I think, as many as like seven kills. And then the game, for whatever, whatever reason, comes up as aborted. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. And it's not that it's... I mean, I've, I've had a lot of games like this. I can't really complain too much. Where I've had a, game, a lot of games like this where I come into the game and um, the players leave and it's a quick victory for me. I haven't even done anything. So, I mean, I've, I've had a few of those, so I guess I shouldn't be too upset with an abort, but I don't know. Um, see like this, this is a game aborted. And I don't mind this so much. I don't mind this, I don't mind the abort here. Um, but I do mind it if I've already racked up a few kills and and then the game, then everyone leaves. That's something that I don't I don't like. Uh, I don't like to see happen. I, I just wish I knew the difference. You know why is it that the previous game was a victory, but this one it said game aborted. I give it a try. It says that they're much higher level than me. I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see what he's it looks like. Just one player in Old Town. I'm wondering if what some people do here, and I might want to look into this also, but there's one player right now. I've had at least one or two games where I join a game like this, but then one or two other people join in the game while the match is going on, making it much more difficult. So I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if that's... I don't want to say cheating, but... 
means that I'm facing a lot more difficult challenge. Let's see what we going on. to kill me I'm trying to focus so much on the ground pound that uh, I really gotta should just hit him with a spit yeah, well, there's one nest down If I can just... I get him. Why is that so tough? some reason One good ground pound in. Got a sensory suppressor.
You see me coming? How come it's not working? It's not working. That ground pound is just so tough for me to time right in a real life situation, you know? At least I disabled the flare. <laughs> Damn. 
health back. Got him. Get a little more hang of the uh I just wanna Kill me in two shots. Yeah. 
really be able to hit me. Oh, cat. Got me with something. What? Oh, I poisoned. Help! Still need a lot of practice with that ground pound. <laughs> It's, it, I mean, it just, just doesn't work. It just doesn't work as well as it would seem, unless he's, unless he's doing something. First time that's worked in a while. Got him. 
Oh, come on. Compound just, just, I just don't have any luck with it. Mm. Spit, 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 spit.
Come on, spit, 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 spit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on! I didn't want to hit that. Well... Sure, he can just win it at any time that he wants to.
Damn. Uh. Yep, I guess he's just toying with me now. I'm sure he could just win at any point that he wants to. Trying hard to get the hang of the ground.
Well, and then we get to, I only got, oh, a pin. Ultimate Survivor. I can't really do that right now. Oh, man. So what did I get? I got... Um, I got four pounces and one horde. I think a, a one or two at the end there were just kind of like... Like he could have won at any time, probably. He was just letting the game go on. But, oof. So my spits, I stuck nine times with the spits out of 70 there 70 just about 70 spits only stuck nine times so my my aim was definitely off I tried 57 times for the ground pound how are you gonna kill someone with a ground pound that's even possible <laughs> same thing with the tackle Oh, okay. well, no, you can't even do it in spikes, because then the spikes would get the credit. Melee buggy crab. Can you, can, can, you, can, you, can you kill someone with a buggy crab? I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Oh. I got toasted quick once trying to be the player. So I'm not at your level. I've tried being the player before. I got toasted quick. He does. He plays it masterly. Fifty-seven attempts on the ground pound. Only twelve of them hit. I really, really just trying to get a hang of that ground pound. There's just no way, especially if I'm going to be focusing on the ground pound like I am right now. There's no way I'm going to be a, a, a match for that guy. I really just want to try and get the hang of that. I, I think I can get it. I think just... Part of the problem is, is when I'm soaring through the air, 
either like with my tendril locomotion or jumping off a building or something, I'm having trouble figuring out where I'm gonna land. So I think I think that's that's gonna be the trickiest part of this ground pound. Is if I can get the handle on that, at least uh, at least then maybe I could land on a person. Um, uh, but UV blocks 36, 36 UV blocks. That doesn't tell me how many I. Uh, Many, uh, I guess there's really no successful use of it. I know I wasted a couple of spits in there too, hitting the button by accident. Either way, it was a great game though. All right, let's uh, let's let's go back. Can I? Uh, How did I do this last time? Damn it. How did I do it before? I did this before. Sometimes when you die in a certain area. Well, maybe I can maybe I'll just join another game and see what happens. Yeah, it was still not gonna let me unless I join another game. Sometimes when you die in a certain area, I don't know why, but you can't get back into your skills menu. Um, let's see if I can it now. And when that happens, I'm in danger of losing all of the experience points I just gained from that, which may not be much, but but I thought there was a way. that I did it before. How did I do it? Alright, I'll just I'll just try and join another game. I, I I didn't go up a level, but I just wanted to see how close I was. But I did it before. Somehow I managed to get out of that. But anyways it creates kind of like a loop where you can't you can't get into your skills, see your skills menu, and um, when that, that's happened to me once before, and I just exited out, I quit, but then I ended up losing all of the experience points that I had got. I'm hoping that won't happen here. I'm gonna I'm gonna start up a new recording. I'll be right back. Alright, be right back.